I think in some kind of real dollar terms, I think Microsoft's been falling for quite a long time, has had really great new surprises, just sort of resting on you know their markets that they built up a long, long time ago. And that's pretty dangerous. I don't know how the world judges Steve Ballmer, but I don't think his time there was as important and significant as Bill Gates. Paul Krugman seems to write on everything for the New York Times. You know, he was saying that he thinks that some of the problems of Microsoft, you'll see in Apple. Apple's a big company and still was able to come up with, you know, at least under the leadership of Steve Jobs, the great new directions of the iPod, the iPhone, the iPad, and, you know, how much our life has changed in recent times. And we were a huge company full of management and bureaucracy and all that stuff. And, you know, usually a big company cannot move fast. Apple found the formulas, and they're still there. Is Tim Cook the right person to lead Apple? Yeah, Steve Jobs had very strong feelings about what makes a company great and what makes products great, and he more or less chose Tim Cook to be in that that role and that position. Everybody sort of says, oh my gosh, two years have passed, you know, and we, we need something really new and great from Apple. Well, yeah, you know, the great advances for mankind don't happen every year. How is it that companies like Samsung have begun to rival Apple? What are they doing right? You know, a lot of the greatness in our products has come about from manufacturing technologies being able to make things very small at very low cost. Things like a camera built into a phone doesn't cost $100 to put in the phone, it just costs a few dollars. Um, the chips, now you can put almost the entire phone and the entire smarts onto one chip that might cost the manufacturer a dollar to make, you know. So these are the things that make the products great. Samsung had great marketing prowess. They also had distribution channels and reps in so many markets of the world that Apple was not in because Apple more or less grew up under the Macintosh, which had a low world market share. It's very difficult to move in where people are already, you're going up against people that already have the connections, the business strategies, the business methodologies of those other parts of the world. So it's going to be a fight for Apple and a worthy fight, and it's something that in business you should do.